All right, here we go once again. Looking for the spot. So today's story, we have a new location to go metal detecting. It's supposed to be a cellar hole. Uh, and I've been instructed to follow the trail, go down to a certain point and bang a left to the east, 10 minutes in that direction. Pretty vague, but that's what I can tell you. I have no idea of the condition of the ground, you know, if it's a mess, what the situation is of the cellar hole. It's probably, you know, late 1700s into the early to mid, maybe late 1800s, don't know. But this is what we got to work with today, and I'll catch up with you when I get into the area. Okay. I think I found our cart pass. Hopefully this leads us to where we want to go. So I had to follow said trail to a certain point, go over and in, a couple walls, and I dumped out on this. It's definitely cart pass, not trail. It's trail now, but yeah, hopefully it leads us right to the old home site. Okay, off the cart path. Bits of wall. Bits of lowland. But I think what we're looking for is up on that lift. Up in there. Okay, well I just crossed another wall and then I, I don't know, 30 feet in, I stepped over the edge plow line so you can see where they were improving the land to the end. And then wall, that's the usual. It's gotta be up in here. Yeah, it's good looking. All right, here we go. Pottery, there's stuff all over the place. People have been scraping and digging. That's all right, we're gonna give it a go. From what I can see, there's a lot of early 1900s stuff kicking around. It could be dumpage, hard to say. Either way, it's a newly acquired place. And I just checked, it's the usual. 30 minutes, about a mile and a half. It doesn't matter where you go in our part of New Hampshire. Yeah, it's bound to take 30 minutes or be somewhat over a mile. All right, I'm gonna start off the backyard here where it's not loaded with junk, hopefully. Well, with my initial five minute scan around, I'm not picking up uh, the sheet metal all over the place that would be associated with a later site. So maybe that stuff is just from people well after abandonment. something. Might be a hair, br hair cummerbundy uh, holder thinger together. Yeah, it ain't shotgun willy, so that's good. So we have a start. Yeah. A thing. <coughs> yep. Old bottle top with cap. Well, there's going to be a bunch of this out here. There he is. Willy. Loud one. Hello, Root. I thought it was a cufflink. I think it's just perfectly smeared lead. Close. There we go. 
Another thing, I don't know if that's the top end of a um, eyeglasses or it's suspender. Hard to say, but it's definitely an older relic. Good. River. It's in the 22 range, so the, you can't even get near the cellar hole because of all the trash, the bottle caps everywhere. Yep, 22 slug. All right, at this point, I'm way uh, way down back. It's an odd signal, it's loud. But this is really, really flat and clean. There's actually some grass down here. And there's no doubt they were clearing this side. Because if you look, this is the side that we they were feeding the wall. On the left-hand side, it's perfectly square. And on this side, it's just all piles. Not that that means that this is a good target. It's just an observation I like to share that you can tell where, what side they were really working on. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another bottle cap way down here. What the hell is that? Now well, that is some type of molding. You never know. Doesn't matter where you are, you're gonna find something weird. Whoa. Beautiful. We nailed it, finally. That is a nice little knee buckle frame. Sounded just like the bottle, the aluminum bottle caps. All right. Good, because it's been quiet. Yep, Willie. Not too bad all considering. Right under that. Directly. Dead center. <laughs> With rock. Willie. Under the root of the tree. And in between a rock. Thanks, buddy. Wow, casing. No, that's actually the bullet. Almost pinpointed deep. Yep. So, I've migrated over to what was the front yard. Down there's the plow line that we crossed over coming in. And it's, uh, it's small. It's about 80 feet to the back wall and just this little strip here. Probably him, gotta go for it. Nope, I was wrong and I'm glad I was. It's the, it's tack, not tack, uh, leather adornment. Got the pin on the back and everything. Wow, see? You just never know. That's why you gotta do it. Awesome. So surprisingly, a quiet and small place. The house sat up there, 100 some odd feet. There's the back wall. 
and it's the same on both sides. House in the middle, four squares. And uh, pretty much showed you everything I swung over. Yeah, a lot of, you know, willies. We did find a few things, but that knee buckle, 